Okay, uh, 67 GTV step nose for restoration. Um, needs inner, middle and outer seals or rockers as you call them in the States. Um, all the suspension mounts, chassis rails and the rear floor pans. All looks really good. And this cross section, see it looks really good, but the seal's obviously gone on a rocker. Um, the chassis rail there looks pretty good. Looks pretty good up in there too. Pretty solid. Same story on the other side. There you go, there's the rock, rockers. That's a professional job that has to be done very carefully because the, the car has to be uh, supported before you take the rockers out because that's where a lot of the strength is. Um, front valance, there's, there is some metal behind that Bondo um, but you need a, I, I would put a new front valance section in there. They're all available if you check um, Alphaholics, places like that. Same story this side. Front floor pans need replacing, both sides. And then these uh, inner, middle and outer seals. But when you go back in there further, chassis rail, cross member, looks good. Rear floor pans are good. Um, rear suspension mount, looks really good. Looks all good and solid up there. I'm gonna put photographs on on the ad too but it's really good bones I mean if you know how to replace rockers and stuff like that then you're laughing these repair sections for those both rear wheel arches as well I would say but if you're gonna do the rockers you might want to replace the rear wings too um, so car has always been what was originally red there's some white paint under the hood where somebody once sprayed it white but if you see it's scraped through and it's red underneath that white. Uh, the hood's really good. Glass is all, I think it's not delaminated. Looks to be, there's no cracks or anything. Interior needs to be redone obviously. As you can see there. Um, inside the trunk is really good. Um, there's the original rubber mat in there. Um, it's not rusted through in there at all. Uh, let me see if I can get that open. I love these little catches they put on these Alfa Romeos. So, oh, original tool kit and chains. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Yeah, so it's looking pretty good in there. It's pretty dark, you can't really see, but. You know, there's no massive rust holes anywhere. That's where they usually go. So, the owner actually had this, the second owner, since I think he had it from 1970. A oh, really old guy I bought it from. Uh, he moved to, he had to work in Michigan for a couple of years, and that's why all the rust is along the bottom, because of the salt from the roads. I've got a brand new cylinder and liner kit. Brand new, proper Alfa Romeo. Um, all, I've got all the spares, all the engine in boxes, there's all seals, a full engine um, gasket set, yeah it's got the twin DCOEs, everything's there. Um, he told me there's nothing missing and um, I don't doubt him actually because there is a ton of stuff with it. Um, black back glass isn't broken, so yeah there you go. Perfect for restoration. Step nose GTV. Thanks for watching.